Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 107:31. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. So just looking to be thankful. Um been a rough week weekend. Um so told you about what happened Memorial Day weekend. Uh Last Sunday was the grandparents' funerals. Friday was roommate's stepdad's funeral. And Sunday, this Sunday, was the young man that passed funeral. So, honestly, I got up this morning and I did my workout. And I couldn't think of anything that I had done this weekend. Um, Friday, of course, we were at the funeral. Went out to lunch. I have no idea what I did. And Saturday, I just can't think. I don't remember if I told you this or not, or if I did it this Saturday, or my days are just running together. So, um, the first thing that I did, I think, was I finished all of the Christmas gifts for the office. I have all of those done, and I have um, all the birthdays done now. So, I have a collection, and I have them marked. So, if people move around, I'll just swap them out, you know. So, I did that and then I started I don't remember when I started cutting on this shirt but I uh, I'll move this over right like so and um, it's just a basic back front um, this one's a little bit I don't like the way this is folding so I'm probably gonna I was gonna put a little flop over opening um, and then I'm going to put the loose sleeves, like I told you last time, and I did on that white polka dotted belted shirt, put those kind of sleeves on it, and then um, I just have to hem it. So, and I have the material over here for the sleeves and to hem it, I just, but it, it's just, I know I spent one day um, just cleaning. I just went into cleaning mode, and I know that's like my go-to anxiety thing but I'm just feeling blah for obvious reasons um, just can't seem to get it together I actually was doing my workout and it's a video okay so I'm not even gonna pretend like it's somebody standing here I do it right here I have a TV right there that's got a DVD player in it I can hook my laptop up to it this office is kind of turned into my room um, but roommate likes the den roommate you know has the bedroom the den i have a bedroom and pretty much this office has turned into my sewing room roommate roommate even takes a checkbook out of the office to go to the table to pay bills so it doesn't really do anything in here and it's kind of just turned into my little oasis i've got my sewing and, and my sergers here my sewing machines over here um, there's a TV with a DVD player in it for my workouts. I've got my roll-up mat over there. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, it, it's just turned into my weekend area. I clean it up every weekend, though. Um, it'll look horrible from Friday on till Sunday night, and then I clean it up. And you know, so uh, there's even the little half bath is off this, so I don't have to go anywhere. Just leave me in here have my extra toothbrush in here because it needs a charger and I have a power strip here. So, yeah. <coughs> I could live in this room. This is probably what the tiny house will reflect. You know, everything right there. So, anyway. Uh, I went on a cleaning spray and I know that that's my anxiety relief. You know, I mean, I polished furniture, dusted everything. The only thing I didn't get done was the vacuuming and that's because again this weekend uh, it was storming and we couldn't really it would storm, it would stop, it would storm, it would stop and Hitch doesn't really do well with that so um, we really couldn't do a whole lot outside and I don't even know where I was going with that but anyway <laughs> So, it is what it is. Um, just a bad week, but 
I think it's just because of everything that's happened. And you gotta remember that was Memorial Day weekend. We just finished the last funeral this Sunday. So um, now that that's over with, maybe I can get back to normal life, I hope. But I will say this, part of the pressure is the fact that I was gone from work. And um, yeah. <laughs> That leaves its own challenges because everybody thinks they know your job, but then they don't do your job. They only cover, in my case, they cover the phones. They don't do any of the other um, things that I do because they don't know that I do them. They're only, well, I don't know. There's three different people that roll my job and three different people have added different stuff and I don't think they realize what the other ones have added. So honestly, while others can do it, none of them realize that I'm the one that's doing it. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here and I know it's short. I did wanna show you that I started that shirt. Uh, I will say this, um, I do think, cause it has one seam and as you can see, all the lines line up cause this is one piece. I did okay lining up these lines um not great I, i'm not impressed with myself there but i did come close so i wasn't going to rip it out and redo it and i was like mm, nope uh if i do it again because of the way the shirt is made i probably will line up this the stuff before i seam it up i will make sure that it lines up before i even cut it so all right anyway um shop kitty's doing good ducks doing good dogs are doing good so um shop kitty is when i first started feeding him i fed him lots of little meals throughout the day like four or five times a day i fed him now he's down to eating twice a day he's not eating all of his wet food gobbling it up all at once and I leave out dry food and he's actually eating more of the dry food than he is the wet food. He's on his last can of wet food. I'm just going to put out dry food. He seems to like that. Um, he's getting a little bit more bold just for a little laugh. I'll tell you, he was in the shop and he doesn't like to be picked up yet. Okay. So it, it is what it is. He, he's just little, he's scared of everything. He's still spooky about everything he loves under, under the Chrysler. He's really happy. He has started to venture out and get underneath RJ's truck that they're trying to figure out. But then he scurries back to the Chrysler. So he's really happy under the Chrysler and his world is getting a little bit bigger. He comes out by the shop to eat. Anyway, so he, uh, he ended up in the shop again and I didn't want to lock him in. So we're getting ready to close up for the night. So I pick him up and he's mad and I've got him around the belly and he curls his back end around my hand. So he's got his head up here and he's curled around here and his tail's curled around and he just looks like this fuzzball and his ears are laid back and he's all, you know? And so I picked him up and I took him, roommate was dying laughing because he, he just was, I took him outside and the minute I got him outside, he started to like swirl around and wanted down. So I put him down and he, was all bunched up, looked back at me with the nastiest look ever, ran off underneath the truck. Well, I kept walking, and by the time I got to the other side of the truck, he comes out from underneath the truck, and he's all hiffs, puffed up, walking sideways with the little arch in his back and his tail, and I looked at him, and I said, you little turd, and he's walking towards me like he's something all puffed up, and he's hissing, and I looked at him, and I said, knock it off, and, uh, I went, and he took off and ran under me. And I was like, yeah, you little chicken. <laughs> so he, he still puffs up at me. He still puffs up at a lot of things, but he's doing good. So um, he's got a little character. Again, we don't know if it's a he or she. Um, that's, I keep thinking I'll look and I just keep forgetting. So yeah, all of that happened and life's gonna get back on track this week. Um, I just have to get through this is Wednesday and yes I'm late recording I have put a lot more emphasis on getting my workout done as opposed to getting 
the um, recording done, I want to at least stay with it and get it back into my regimen. I, I've been very lax about doing it, so I want to, I put down my foot and said I gained a couple of pounds back and I'm not liking that, so I'm going to back to my workout, back to eating better. Roommate and I talk because of all the funerals that are going on. We have decided that we're going to both eat better and we've incorporated um, salads. We do food prep. I've got to go and get some more salad today so that I can food prep my two meals and roommate can food prep roommates two meals um, because today's only Wednesday. We we did three days on Sunday and then uh, I should have done five but I ran out of lettuce so yeah we, we didn't. We just kind of cut it short. But it's because I'm used to food prepping for one. And now with roommate and I both, we bought the same amount of lettuce. And it did three for roommate, three for me. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so just misgaged. Um, but anyway, we're doing that. We're just trying to eat healthier. Um, trying to do my workouts. And just... Yeah, I just been in a funk. Like I said, their videos and I was doing my workout. I think I started this story and didn't even finish it. See, I told you, I'm sidetracked. I'm just <sighs> um and their videos. So the guy says the same thing over and over. And I'm like, I literally yelled at him this morning. I was like, I know, I know, shut up. You don't have to repeat it that many times. <laughs> and then I realized, duh, it's a video. And so, yeah. It's been one of those two week periods and you know, they say there's ups and downs, ups and downs and things were going really well. Um, roommate and I had had to talk about getting things I'd gotten the search or, you know, things that we want to do. We're not going to wait until the end of life to live life. Um, we're going to start living it now. Of course, roommate bought roommate's dream boat and every weekend since it's been bought, it has rained. It is raining right now. Roommate says that we single-handedly ended the drought. <laughs> because we were in drought conditions and then the boat was purchased and yeah. So uh, we have, and it's funny because Roommate and I will get out there and we're working on this or that just to spiff things up and we vacuumed it and we've done different things and different, uh, we changed the steering uh, cable just because it was too tight and last night we went out and come to find out the the aerator motor had actually gotten so hot it melted um, but we worked to get the aerator pump off the boat because we're going to replace it um, these are little $30 fixes if you remember the conversation that was had by uh, roommate and I um, the budget was about $500. Well, roommate decided that, so when we did that, if you remember new tires and the windshield was going to take up much more of that budget. Well, roommate did a little examining to the budget and decided that <sighs> the tires could wait. Um, the tires were reworked. They were removed, inspected, sealed and put back on the rims were all cleaned and looked brand new um we scrubbed on those and then took them and had the tires put taken off inspected and put back on and they're actually really good tires so we didn't end up buying new tires um that saved a lot of money and roommate is bound to term to state of the 500 so what we did was those windshields are plexiglass so we taped off with masking tape where the big scrap, uh, the big break was, and we literally just cut it with a uh, thing, you know, because it's plexiglass, cut it and then sanded it all smooth. And so they're shorter, one's shorter than the other, but it doesn't look cracked. And it almost looks made that way. So yeah, we did that to save a little bit of money too, eventually, but we're going to get all the little stuff done first 
instead of upping the budget, we're going to stick to the budget and do all the little things first. And then later down the road, we will look at replacing that windshield um, because it's like $245, which that's a lot. For us, again, talking about living on budget, but doing the things we want to do. Anyway, and of course I've got my serger, I've got my uh, threads, and I got that thing at Joann's, and so I'm pretty much done buying for the serger. Now, I uh, did take some time, and I don't know if I told you this in another video, I did take some time, and I went through my material, and so I've got my second sewing machine, I'm keeping this one, I'm keeping this one, I've got my second sewing machine, uh, and then I've got um, an old spool rack for thread, which my sewing box, I'm going to get a new sewing box and then give my daughter my old one. Um, but it's got spots for enough spools of thread and honestly I, I haven't used, some of those came from uh, the children's father's mother and I would never use those colors so I'm giving them to her. She can always do them for anything that she's got to turn that the thread is not seen on. But um, I've got her some material, got her all that stuff. This weekend I've got a three day weekend because of Juneteenth being a federal holiday. Um, so Monday I'm going to take her up all of her sewing stuff and get it out of here. I went through the material and got two big old bags of stuff and cut down to realistically what I'm going to use. Uh, so yeah, I did all of that and that's fine. So I'm good with that. Uh, and when I get that stuff out of here, that will help. Remember a lot of this downsizing is, um, for the tiny house. You know, I have to either, I have to learn to live in that square footage and that means one tote for sewing that will tuck under the bed, one tote for spinning and crochet that will tuck under the bed. That is all I will have in reserve. So, and they're not little totes, they're the big, and you can't even see my arms, big totes. So, um, and they're deep and yeah, if you guys remember the plans for the, um, tiny house the bed is elevated it's one solid piece and then it'll have totes underneath it not cabinets so it is what it is but anyway all right i'm gonna get off here i do have to get ready to go to work it is storming just it's gonna get better i'm gonna get myself together and it's going to get better so i just my mood needs to be picked up um and what I don't know if it's helping or hurting, but I have cut down my caffeine. I only drink caffeine in the morning. I am no longer drinking it afternoon. I'm drinking tea. So, and decaffeinated tea at that. So maybe that's something to do with my mood. I don't know. And you know, honestly, four funerals in a week, that probably has a little bit to do with it too. So, all right, I'm gonna get off here. I will see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.